Chantel Hi. from the Buffer Festival. And if you guys don't already know, uh, Buffer Festival is in Toronto and we're here at their filming studios in the Henry's Camera Shop right downtown. It's super cool. So Chantel, can you tell us a little bit about Buffer Festival before we get started making wire stuff? Um, yeah, thanks for the intro. I'm really happy that you want to hear a little bit about Buffer Festival and I can share with uh, those who are watching online. Um, so Buffer Festival is the way I pitch it is it's an online film festival. It's not actually online, but it's for online creators. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we have YouTubers and TikTokers and all kinds of people that come together um, in the fall usually. Yeah to come and do some screening. So we yes. usually have different types of screenings. So we'll have like documentary or we'll have comedy or we'll have short film, a whole bunch of different ones. Nice. Um, yeah, and you can also submit films. So once the tickets right. and the scheduling go up, uh, anyone that's interested can also um, do that. They can submit their, t their films to the film festival and then hopefully get picked to come screen the film alongside some really cool people. That's awesome. Um, and yeah. we're going, this year we're going on year 10. Oh, so it's going to be amazing. super cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do, I can't wait. I was going to say, I think, well, I think it's announced. We, ha we're, we have the Drake Hotel this year. I'm sorry yes. it's not announced. I think it was. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exciting new things happening with uh, Buffer. Yeah, it's, that's great. We usually change it up every year, but this is really fun because now we have the Drake Hotel and we have yes. a whole bunch of new creators on our roster this year. That's so it's awesome. going to be super fun. So the dates okay. are November um, 9th to 12th this year, Perfect. I believe. Perfect. I'll put all the links in the description of the video for yeah. sure. And uh, yeah, without further, further ado, I think I better get working. I can't see comments from this distance, so I'm going to get them up on my, on my screen. Thanks so much, Chantal. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Heather, for having me. Excellent. Enjoy. So guys, yeah, I'm going to flip the screen as I always do. This is a very unusual live stream from Toronto because I'm on vacation. And I'll pull up you guys on, the, um, on my computer. Let me flip the screen. And we're just going to do some fun stuff today. I think I have to figure out how to do this. This is my iPod, so I actually have to mirror the screen. Yeah, we should. I'm going to fix that up. Don't worry. This is all my, my tools, as you guys know. And let's pull this up. So this space is actually for people to come and try equipment and try a studio. So it's um, a little more experimental than what I usually do, but I'm on vacation. Hi, Corey. Uh, so this is super fun to be able to do some work on vacation. And I thought I'd do some fun rings. So I have some uh, drawings here. Excuse me for the shadows, but at least the light is bright. It's just a little shadowy, but no problem. And I can see on the screen, okay, you guys can actually see this thing. I might adjust it a little bit. I don't think Amber's gonna be here today because uh, she, it's an unusual time. It's late in the day for, for me to be doing this. So this is what I wanna work on today. You guys saw in my shorts video, I did the dragonfly. So now we're doing a butterfly ring. And I will do proper tutorials for these rings, guys. It's just that right now, I like to work out the designs on the live stream. So I did make one, but I'm gonna make another one. And hi, Rainbow Obsidian, how are you? Let me just fix this up a little bit. I'm trying to like, get my tripod out of the view. But there, now we can see my hands. We're very close, but that's okay. And all I brought on vacation was 20 gauge wire. So we're gonna make do with that. And I am going to start by cutting a little piece of wire. And also, I am streaming on my iPad pod which is different than my ipad hi jan how you doing so let me just cut a piece of wire it doesn't have to be super huge i always like to cut it a little big to be sure so maybe eight to ten inches and i forgot my proper ring cone but i have this ring cone that i use for uh, displays and you guys know i use these to make spirals and then i also have a marker so we're going to work with that and see what we can do and let us go ahead and uh, what I did for this design was just do the band first and then do the wings after. So let's see if I could use my little hack that I do to make the wings the um, same size. So which, what area of this? I don't wanna make it too big. So let's just curve it around here like this. And that's gonna be our starting point for the ring. So just like that. And what I want to do next, and I'll also do the dragonfly that I did in the shorts video. There's a few things I want to work on today. So 
Hi, El Hobbs. Love you videos. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm so happy you got your learning because I love teaching. So for me, being able to do these live streams and the tutorials is a way to teach more people than I would normally do when I'm doing um, uh, in-person workshops, although I still do in-person workshops. So now if I want to do my hack, I'm going to have to get these down, straight down. Uh, when I did it this way, I, how did I do it? I curved them out and I went around. So let me figure out if this is going to work. If it doesn't work with the hack, I'll just do them individually. So we've just bent these straight down. And what I want to do is maybe just make them, rather than making them curved this time, I'm going to bend them around. The dragonfly is cool, eh? Yeah, I can make the dragonfly again, because I know in the shorts videos, it's really hard to actually see what's going on, um, because they're so fast. You only have a minute to do them. So uh, shorts videos are actually really fun to make, because you just, you edit as you go, which is really, really cool. So I'm just bringing these out. I'm not 100% sure if this is working how I want. Let me just see. I went up and around. So let's just try this this way. And that's what I like about these live streams is because I just troubleshoot these ideas and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You guys know. I'm not going to make a super fancy design for the butterfly wings, but I just want to get them more or less even. So now we've got the more the same type of outline shape. And to open it up, we're going to bend this out. So let's just take this, bend it out. I think it's going to work. Yeah, I think this is going to work. So we're going to bend this out that way, bend this out that way. So now you see you have your ring band and you have the bottom wings, the big, I think the top wings are supposed to be bigger. I'm pretty sure. So now we're going to take this and boy, I haven't streamed on my iPod in so long. And, uh, but it works pretty well and actually it's closer. Let me know what you guys think because it's all, to me it looks almost better than on my iPad, but we're gonna have to see it. It's because I got a new iPod, so uh, it's working a little better. I revest, hello, hello. Uh, do these types of wires get discolored? So this is actually tarnish resistant copper wire from uh, artistic wire from Beadlon and that's uh, they're tarnish resistant because they actually have a uh, plastic coating on them so they um, they have a little plastic coating that uh, protects them from tarnishing so I wouldn't necessarily wear them in a swimming pool but they're definitely good for not tarnishing too much so this is what this is what we've come up with guys it looks pretty good and then we want to slide the bead on there so what I do for this is these, you guys know I love these miracle beads. So let's get a, a hot pink one. And I love the miracle beads because they have a, a larger hole and they also are lightweight. They're made of acrylic. They're like a plastic and they have uh, many, many coats of lacquer on them. So they have a kind of glow to them. And uh, I love miracle, you guys know they're my favorites. Looks great, thanks Jan. So let's slide the Miracle Bead. Uh, you can fit two 20 gauge wires in the, in the six millimeter Miracle Bead. We're gonna push that down like that. So already you have a really cool um, butterfly. Now, if you're worried about these coming apart, you can always get a thinner wire and wind it around the middle there. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna line these up, okay? And then hold the bead in place and split the wires let's stay on screen so we we're splitting the wires and if you want to make it more fancy than this one we can do spirals but what you want to do is cut them the same size so maybe i should have done that first let's put them back let's put them back straight up so they're lined up and then we're going to the trick to getting the spirals the same size is just to cut these the same length so let's go ahead and cut these uh, about an inch, yeah, not too long, about an inch long. And then now we can split them apart. So we're gonna hold this here and we're going to split this apart here. Okay, there we go, excellent. And then next week I'll do a regular live stream at the regular time. Normally I do these live streams on um, Wednesdays at 
1.30 p.m. Eastern time, but today uh, my appointment here was for 4 p.m., so we're doing it a little later than usual, but that's all good. This is so exciting to be live streaming in a new venue, and if you guys are in Toronto or Canada or the States or anywhere, you guys can come to Buffer Festival in the fall uh, and check out the awesome creators, and I'm going to be there. I'm really excited about it, and... Um, I haven't been for a few years, so that'll be really fun. So here's a spiral. Uh, usually I do my spirals on the cone, but for this time, I, um, I'm just gonna do them this way. So I'll link up a video uh, that shows how I do the spiral on the cone. Actually, I'll, I'll just, I can show you guys after too. So I'm gonna do a little bit of everything in this live stream and just have to keep an eye on the time. So we're gonna turn this around. Now, I didn't bring any thinner wire. See how cute that is with the, with the little, um, spirals so let's just flatten it out a little bit here and here and like I said if I had my thinner wires look what it does it does kind of wobble around a little bit so you could wind it in there with the thinner wire and then I always like to put it on the ring mandrel or the cone to uh, kind of curve it out a little bit I'm going to push these down a little bit the antenna and let's see if it's going to fit on one of my fingers it I don't want it to get stuck so let's put it on the baby finger but look how cute, that turned out so well. No, I'm happy with that one. So that's the slightly bigger one. And then if you wanted it with the plain antenna, you have it that way. So that's number one. And let us do, I'll do the dragonfly for you guys because I know a lot of you really liked it. So let's just cut another, again, a long piece, maybe, I don't know, eight to 10, 12 inches. Everybody asks me how long my wire is and I always, forget to measure it and I didn't bring a ruler but that's okay because it really varies that's the thing I can't always tell you how long it has to be because it depends on a the size of your finger and b um, the size that you make your dragonfly or butterfly so to do the a really nice twist we just crisscross this so that one's over top and so cute thank you so and then we're going to hold this and when you do the twist you want to make sure whoops I just banged my camera we're gonna make sure these are out at an even angle like that. And then we're going to twist, 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 twist. So there's step one. And in the shorts video, of course, I don't have a co running commentary, but now you can see what I've done. We've just twisted it, we've curved it. And I do have other dragonfly um, tutorials, rings, earrings, all kinds of things. So. There we go, so we have the, those are gonna be the wings, and you can make them big, you can make them small, and then we're going to get a, um, my round pliers, and we're gonna curve it around. Maybe I'll ask Chantelle if she could take some behind the scenes photos. Yay, that's awesome. I made a friend in Toronto, Chantelle, and she's got a YouTube channel, so I will link, actually, I think she has two YouTube channels, so I am gonna link those up in the description. It's always uh, fun to share other creative people's uh, work. And so now we're gonna just uh, curve that one in a little bit. If you can just bring it back a little bit if it's not quite the right length, curve it around. And then we're gonna take this one and curve it around. So there's our little uh, dragonfly. Ooh, I'm gonna show Chantel off camera. I love it. There we go, it's nice, so fun, eh? And apparently Chantel's mom makes jewelry, so I'm gonna definitely connect with her and uh, share notes on making jewelry. It's always exciting to meet other people that love to make wire. And I actually have a Facebook group called the Wire Makers Club that Chantel's mom should join. And, uh, and people can join that group and share photos of their work and be inspired by others. And it's just a wonderful group uh, on Facebook. So if you guys aren't already members, you should definitely join. And we're gonna bring this one around. Perfect, so there are our dragonfly wings. So we just did one, two on that side and one, two on that side with the same wire. So what we wanna do now is just bend up this one straight up. So uh, center it as much as you can, let's get hop over that wire and do it that way. So now we have the twist, the two wings, this wire straight up, and we wanna take the other wire and curve it around. Because I've already made that mistake where I put antenna on dragonflies, and I've had several people say, 
dragonflies don't have antenna. And, and then I realized, of course, they don't have antenna. So instead of the antenna, like I did on the butterfly, we're gonna make uh, little eyes because dragonflies do have those little bulgy eyes. So let's do that. Maybe we'll get, oops, a purple bead. And it's a, Jan says it's an awesome group. And, uh, and yeah, that group is fantastic. And also I do a lot of 10-day uh, challenges that I know you guys, a lot of you have been a part of those 10-day challenges. So we're gonna do some more in the fall. So here is the dragonfly. And then to do the eyes, it serves a dual purpose. We're just gonna take this and curve it to one side around here. So we're gonna curve it around and that also holds that bead down in place. So we're gonna almost make like a little infinity sign. So there's that little curve and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna curve it around this side. So we've got what looks like an infinity sign but it represents the eyes of the dragonfly. Super cute. And we're going to clip that end flush there we go. My eyesight is not as good as it used to be, but at least it's a nice bright light there. So there we have our little infinity sign that's like the eyeballs. How cute is that? There we go. And then we need to make the ring band. So that's why I've left this wire here. Make sure it's long enough to go around to make a ring band. So I would say about three inches to be 100% sure. And I'm going to just use the marker to wind it around. So we're gonna take this, so stinking cute, yeah. So let's just wind that one around and we're gonna bring it underneath the wings, okay? So just underneath the wings and we can, if you have trouble grabbing it, just just use your um, flat pliers and pull it, pull it back. So we're just gonna pull it back around here and what we're gonna to have to do is remove it so we can access it a little better and take that and push it, pushing it up, and then give it a good little tug. You always need to tug it so it's going to hold in place, and then you're gonna clip it there. Oh, I'm gonna have to run around picking up little bits of wire after this. So we're gonna clip it and then pinch that one in. Remember, Mustafa used to love it when I said clip it. So that's like so far to finish it off. Now, if you do want an adjustable ring, you can always just leave like go around a couple times and then just do a little loop at the back and that way it's still somewhat adjustable uh, there definitely are ways to do it maybe i'll do a tutorial where i do it both ways adjustable and not adjustable because i have an idea of a way we can do it adjustable so corey says adorable awesome so now we need to split these uh, wings apart so that they look like wings so we're just going to pull them apart a little bit and this one too just take the wing and split it and it makes a cool little like ch -ch -ch thing there so that's where to split the wings and then we're going to take this one and take the end i'm going to pull it a little bit more and then we want to curve it out so we're just going to take this and curve it out so we have the tail of the butterfly super cute and then we're going to put it back on there this is this is a big butterfly but that's okay it's a statement ring so now we have our, or dragonfly. Did I call it a butterfly? I don't know, it's a dragonfly. So there we go. We're gonna just, it's too, it's too small for that one. But I'll just put it on my baby finger again. So there it is. I love that. Yay. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. So now let's do, um, ba -da -ba -da. I brought my jig to show you guys. So this is the, this is the jig. These are some other like, uh, templates. Oh, I know what I want to do was a flower because I drew out, I was just w uh, working out some of the templates for, because I put together an ebook of uh, the um, re uh, earrings to make and sell ebook that's available now. And I have some of these templates in that ebook. E uh, did I not draw it? I drew it in my sketchbook. That's why. But let's just go ahead and do it. So let's get the jig. Um, Made the earrings, now I have to make the, this, absolutely, yes, yes. Corey's made so many of my tutorials, it's awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead, now I have all my, these are my pegs. Now I did order extra pegs from the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. Um, some of them seem to be different sizes. So what I wanna do is get five of the larger size pegs. And actually in my template book, I, I've named the, I've named the, um, 
the, uh, what do you call them, the pegs. So I call them like peg uh, one, peg two, peg three, peg four, because there's four different sizes. So this is like the largest size. This is a medium size. And then there's like a small, small size here. And then there's the second smallest size. So let's go ahead and get five of those. The second smallest size, they, I, I'm just trying to figure out if they actually vary in size. They're, this one looks smaller. I'm wondering if, if the lot that I got of replacement pegs isn't quite the same size. I'm gonna have to test them and see. But in the meantime, I'm gonna, I've got the five here. So here's our five. You do awesome work tall, so thank you so much. So let's just stick these in here. So we're gonna stick five of these pegs in here. Now what I like to do when I don't have a peg that's small enough, now why isn't this going through? Something in there. We're gonna put this one over here. Oh, this is weird. This is a dud peg. It doesn't go through. That's very strange. Okay, I'm gonna not use that one. I'm not sure why that one's not working. But when I don't have a peg that's small enough, I use a nail. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna try this peg. There we go, that's better. I'm not sure why that peg didn't work. That's really weird. I'm gonna keep that one out and check it out later. So we're gonna put those ones in there. And then always when you use the um, plugs, uh, the exercise pegs you can order on the Beetle On website. So I'll link that up below as well. But they, you can order uh, replacement pegs. Unfortunately, they don't come with these little plugs on the back, but I have a tutorial on how to make your own plug backs. It's basically PVC tubing that you cut into quarter inch pieces. And I don't have the diameter, inner and outer diameter offhand, but I'll link up that video as well where you can make your own repl replacement plugs if you don't have any. So we've got that. And what I want to try to do is make a flower ring. So this is something I drew in my sketchbook, but I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. So we're going to try it. So let's go ahead and just cut a piece of wire that's the width of the jig. And we're going to take this one here and I'm going to bring this one down. And then I'm going to get the nail because if I use the peg, it's going to be too um, like large, the curve's gonna be too large. So I'm just gonna use the nail. I'm gonna go back and forth. And the next one, we're gonna hop. I've actually made earrings like this as well. So we're gonna bring this one down there. There, a hop and up. I hope I cut my wire long enough. If I didn't, I'm gonna have to re-do uh, this bit. Oh, it's tight. It's very, oh, I didn't cut it long enough. So don't cut it. The width of the jig cut it the length of the jig that's going to be better okay that happens i can maybe reuse that for something else so we're going to bring this one here and make sure there's enough we're going to do a little loop as well so we're going to bring that one here and then we're going to stick in the nail and bring that up and you'll see i'm kind of pushing the nail down like towards me as i go just so they're consistent you want the petal sizes to be pretty well the same. So that way, if you do it that way, it's, it stays pretty consistent. So now we've got, what I wanted to try is two petals. We're gonna see how it works. So we've got that one, there goes the nail. And let's do another one and clip. And then I don't know if I already told you guys, but I'm going to be launching Live Wires for the Win next week. So uh, that's the, the uh, competition show where we have an elimin elimination challenge to see who is going to be the next top wi live wire. So I will, do, I will launch that next week. There's gonna be a call for entry. You guys can apply, you can send photos of your work. And uh, last year, Bernice was the winner of Live Wires for the Win. It was a six week um, competition. The, the year before it was Tim won. And uh, that was an eight week competition. So this year we're actually just gonna do five weeks and see how that goes. And then after that, we'll decide, you know, between all of us, which what we prefer. But I thought five weeks is good, it's doable. A lot of people don't have a lot of time. So, so here we go. So if anybody's interested, stay tuned. I will post a video when I get back from vacation. So here's our two little um, flower template things. So let's see what we can do with that. 
And the idea for that would, I wanted to bring it around. So now we're gonna form the flower by just pushing these around. Maybe I should have done another curve, but it's too late now. If you want a fuller flower, you can do another one. But the key now is I'm gonna put one wire to the front, one wire to the back, and we wanna make a, a loop in the middle. So let us get this one. And we're gonna do a little loop in the middle here. Bring it around. Just curve it right around. I don't wanna make it too big either. That end was tight. So we're gonna bring that one in here. I think that'll be good. Maybe not too, too close. We're gonna bring it like that. So once we have that loop done, we're gonna clip the end flush. So we'll just give it a little clip here. And we are going to pinch that one in. And then we wanna do another one, but I'm gonna spread these petals a little bit more so they look like they're even. So we're gonna bring this one around. It's like a five petal flower. So that's cool. Those are like those funky um, 70s style hippie flowers. So that's cool. That's my generation. So there we go. So we're gonna do that and bring this one out to here and then we're gonna do the other loop. I'm not gonna to worry too much if it's perfect. So we're just gonna line them up and then we can do the other loop. Randy, how are you? Nice to see you on the live stream. So Randy, I am in Toronto and doing a live stream. I'm on vacation, but I'm doing a live stream from the Buffer Festival Studios in Henry's Camera uh, store in Toronto. So I'm um, having a good time here. Uh, creators can actually book this space to do uh, live streams and photo shoots and podcasts and all kinds of things. It's a great studio. So I'm very happy to be here doing a shorter live stream than usual, but I think I have time to finish this, at least this one more ring, and then we're going to be good to go. So this one I'm going to check over here. And let's just finish another loop on this guy. Yeah, my cut my end very short. So if it's really short like that, here, let me curve it around first. Around, around, around. And then, because the end is short, let's just do this and bring it around like that. Okay, that's gonna be easier. There's no way I could have held the end of that wire and been able to do that turn. So that's a good little hack. If your wire is short, you want to do it that way, starting from the end. And then we're going to clip that one. And now we can just bring this one around and around. Sounds like a great place. It's an amazing place. And I'll actually put all the links in the description for the camera shop for the Buffer Festival. So if any of you feel so inclined to come up to Canada in um, November and meet me at the Buffer Festival, that would be so much fun. So you guys can um, come and uh, meet all kinds of interesting creators and get all kinds of inspiration. There's so much to do in Toronto too, it's really fun. There's actually really good comedy clubs here as well. In fact, we would have gone to comedy I love going to Absolute Comedy, but um, we didn't have time. We just ran out of time. So, But I did see something cool, really cool yesterday. We went down to, um, oh, now I forget the name of the street, but there's an art fence in the Queen Street West. Uh, I'll also link that up below. I, I took some pictures and put them on my comic page, but uh, it's a really cool art um, fence where people go and leave uh, artwork on the fence. It's super, super cool. So we went there yesterday. We've doing, been doing a lot of stuff. So now let's make a ring band. This is where I'm not 100% sure how I was going to do this because I might, um, I don't have really the right wire for this, but the, what I, I mean, these would make great earrings, right? Just like that. Uh, but the idea that I wanted to do was to make, like to string this up. I, let me just see how this is gonna work. So if we just take this, maybe we can make our ring band first. Yeah, this is where I start stumbling because I haven't like completely planned how I'm gonna do this. And we might have to go through a few pieces of wire to do it. Ah, there we have someone new, Ra Ramuni, hello, hello. Keep it up. Oh, nice, thank you so much. So there we go. So we're gonna bring this one here and we're gonna to try to stack these uh, flowers on here. Let's try to stack them. There goes my bead. So one, 
and two, because I thought it would be really cute to have two on there, but it might also be too much. What do you guys think? That's, that's, I don't know. I don't even know if that might be a little bit of overkill. It's interesting though, but maybe what I should have done is just, ex I could have just extended the wire and done the ring with that, which might've been a better idea, but see, okay, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks one way or the other. So we have, we have this one, like with both ways, but then, oh, this is like a fidget ring. That's kind of cool. I actually like that as a fidget ring. Can we make a fidget ring? That would be cool. So maybe we should just do one. Let me put this, this one on here and see. This has got this funny little thing at the top, but maybe I can deal with that somehow. But wouldn't that be neat if it did that? Uh, because the other thing I thought was if I took the a wire, let me get another wire and see. It's kind of cool, eh? Yeah, I, 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 like, I like both ways, but I like the idea that it spins. Just a bit bead in between. Oh, you could actually do a bead in between. It might be getting like pretty high if we did that, but we could probably do that. Let me just see. There we go. Oop, I almost thought it was five o'clock. I have to finish by five, but we're, we got lots of time to finish this ring. So there we go. So now if we do this, that's the thing that I'm wondering because I would have had to make that loop a little bigger to fit both wires through. Let me just try this because if I don't try, I won't know, right? So we're going to take this one around, take this one around and bring it down. Oh, I could do it maybe with the pliers is gonna be better. I don't want you guys to mangle your fingernails. And there we go. I have very soft fingernails, so I have to be careful. So there is, like it looks nicer when the beads that way because then you don't have a hole sticking out at the top. Although you could do maybe do a little spiral on it. But what I'm wor worried is about is that we're not gonna fit both of those wires through the loops. Let's see if they both fit. Let's just see. Because if they both fit through, it would be better I think we have to make these loops a little, oh, it fit. Okay, and now let's try this one. If it's gonna be fitting. Oh, okay, they both fit, barely. This might not spin, but we can do another one with the other one that spins, maybe. So this, I just stuck the both wires through, but I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but let's just try it so we know. It's a cool spinning ring, eh? We should definitely try the spinning ring, definitely. So let me just pull this one. I'm just gonna pull it apart. Okay, so we have, yeah, and you could do more. You could actually do more. This doesn't really spin because I pulled it really tightly, but maybe I could do another version of this that spins. So we've got, it's, I like design-wise, it's super cool. So we've got the flower, we've got a bead, and we've got these wires through and pulling them apart to do the ring. So then we can take this, bring it around, around here. Now, if you want it to be adjustable, you cannot finish the ends. Let's see, let's see what we're gonna do here. Cause otherwise you can just wind them around here. So let's see what we've got. Yeah, you could cut that wire longer and wind these ends around the bottom to hold it in place. But I kind of like the idea of it being a little bit adjustable too. So if you're going to do that, yeah, you could bring these right to the back and clip them there and, and either file them or loop the end, or otherwise we can just clip them here since we're already there. So we have them finished here. I would file them a little bit with one of those burr uh, cup tools. I don't have one with me, but we could definitely do that. Hi, Lindsay, love the idea. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Yeah, I think we could uh, do something like a spinner ring like that. I have a few fidgets, fidget rings, but not, I don't know if I ever made any that actually spin. I might have, I, I kind of lose track of what I've done, but this one, I mean, this one would spin if it was looser, but I pulled it really tightly. So, but that's super cool. So let's try another one and see if we can get it to spin. So I will cut my wire a little bit longer. I'm gonna grab a little sip of water. There we go. We got some water and we are going to cut that a little bit longer. Now, this is where I have to just sit and think for a second. Um, I could do a smaller bead too, although it doesn't really 
matter. Uh, what if we just did, let me just try something. What if we took this and bent this up and put, yeah, we maybe have to put a bead first. Let's try it. So we're gonna put a bead on there. And then you guys, as always, can go with these ideas and just, you know, do your own thing with it too. Cause sometimes you might have a, a better idea for design to see if it would work better. Let's put this one on and you can do more petals if you want. Wee, that's so cool. I like that. But now that sits up a little too high from the ring. So what if we remove that, stick it back on. Whoa, cause see, then it's gonna go around the, then it's gonna go around the bend, which isn't the best thing. Or what if, we're just trying everything out here. So what if we do a little loop here and straight up so we have something for it to like lean against and then we're going to put this one down but then it might be a little crooked it's not bad though it's kind of cool and then we would want to yeah i think the bead might be a better idea though because this is doing some weird wiggly things so let's that's an idea just keep these all these things in mind that you could try them and if those don't work, you can try something else. So let's just go up again. The first idea, the first thing worked pretty well though. The first one that I did with the, with the bead on the top. So let's try this again where we put this one because I found that the wire spiral didn't work so well and we stick that one on top. It's so cool. But so we, we, we put another one on top. Let me just see. We can put this one on top. I mean, it stands out a lot. It's more of a, like a fun fidget ring than anything. Uh, I don't wanna pull it too tight. So what if I just clip this to about 3 8 to half an inch? And Heather, you made a spinner ring for the 10 day ring challenge. I did, oh, I'll have to go check that. I have such a bad memory. So there we go. I will definitely check that and put the link in the description because we've done so many challenges and um, I forgot I did one that spun. So I'm just gonna bring this one in. So this actually sticks up a little bit. It's, it's, a little, it's a little odd. It's definitely a little bit odd, but it's kind of interesting. Now, if this sticks up too much, you could also probably bend it over a little bit. We can try that. Mirta, I was waiting for you to come. I should have given you the heads up that it was much later than usual, because usually you hop on any time I, I post a video or a live stream. So yeah, I definitely should have told you in advance. So I just bent that little loop over. So that's kind of cool. You could also do like a little spiral on the top. It's kind of interesting. It's definitely large. And then what if we take this and bring this one around? Do we have enough to go around twice? Let's try it. And let's go around and around. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking maybe I should attach it though, because if you make it adjustable, it might just be a little fragile. So if we bring this one here, I'm gonna make it a little bigger this time and take this and just twist it around here, just to secure it on the, just underneath that uh, bead there. So now we can clip it. I don't wanna make, I don't want to go around too many times or it's not going to, it's going to be like too much pressure on the bead and it won't spin anymore. So if we do that, move it this way. Yeah, this one's a little, a little bizarre, but it's, I think I'm going to work on this idea to see if we can do it, but, but it definitely spins. It's a little wonky, definitely a little wonky, but it's interesting. So I'll probably work on this one um, on my own time because I don't have a lot of time to do more rings, but I'll, let's see the ones that we did uh, today. And then you guys can give me some feedback and we can work on some other ideas because you see for sure it's a little wonky, but this one turned out really well and it almost, like it almost spins. The only reason it doesn't spin well is because the wires are, um, too tight in the little holes. I bet if those loops were a little bit bigger, this one would actually, let's stick with this design. I recommend this one. This one is definitely way out of control. So we can you do this one. And just when you do this one, do your loops on your petals a little bit bigger and then it's gonna spin better for sure. So this is super cool. So let's look at the ones we did today. We did this one. 
and we did the butterfly and we did the dragonfly. So let me know which are your favorite. Gunhild, hello. Best materials to make earrings. Well, it depends on what you're making. I use the 20 gauge artistic wire mostly for earrings, but for the hooks that go in your ear, you'll wanna use either sterling or surgical steel. So uh, you want it to be hypoallergenic. So uh, that would, I would definitely recommend it. So Randy likes it. Which one's your favorite, the flower, the butterfly, or the dragonfly? Let me know in the comments. And wow, the lighting's pretty good. I gotta get one of these lights, <laughs> three of these lights. They've got a lot of lights here. So let me just uh, split the screen and I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Randy likes the dragonfly. Corey loves them all. Jan likes them all. That's awesome. So let me flip the screen and then we are going to see you guys the next time. Let me, I'm, I'm so rusty with using this iPod. There we go. Let me get this around. There we go. Awesome guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to the Buffer Festival for supplying this uh, studio space and Henry's camera studio. And uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys at the Buffer Festival in the fall. Uh, look out for regular videos. Probably Saturday's video is gonna be late because I'm still on vacation. So I'll probably post Sunday, tip Tuesday, Tuesday. And then let me know what you wanna see me do on the live stream next Wednesday for sure. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys uh, uh, next week for sure. And we'll do a little smile for the thumbnail, yay. And uh, we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.